Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the shell of a turtle if you don't want the meat. If you just want the shell, then you're on the right video. If you want the meat from the turtle, I'll have other videos coming, but this is just for the shell. So, number one thing, always remember, even after you kill a turtle, they're like a snake, so they will still bite. Let's see, open this mouth up there. But they're exactly like a turtle, they'll still bite you. So you don't want to get around that head, and if you do, make sure it can't bite you. Now, how you're going to get your shell is... Right here is your belly shell. That's your back shell. Then right here, this little strip, that's also a shell. Now you're gonna cut this part off. You can see it kinda triangles out. You can feel a groove right in here for where this shell meets the back shell. And then you're just gonna cut right in there. And you're gonna do the same for that side. So I will show you guys me doing that with both of the sides. Put you guys back up here. There we are. Alrighty, so I, and you're gonna want a, like a knife, camping knife, whatever. I use this one for skinning deer, and it goes through deer ribs, so this should work. So you're just gonna get right at that. Because it's a little softer right there also. See, he's still got those reflexes. Trust me, guys, he's he's dead. He took, um, took a bullet to the face. So, you can see I've got this side right here opened up. So, I'm just going to do the same to this side. Don't mind my hound dog. He likes to talk a lot. But like I said, this there's a little soft piece right in here where it's not really come on out of there. Where it's not really as thick as the rest of the shell. So that's what you're wanting to get. It's still a shell, so you're gonna want to get a strong knife, but it's not as thick of a shell as you think. So, now that we have this belly shell off of there, we're gonna focus on the back of it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this skin, get it off of the back of this shell. That's really all we need to do. And you can do it from either way. You can do it like this. This would probably be easier, actually. So you're just gonna wanna get that skin. Right there. So you're gonna go all the way around and you're gonna poke through the skin and you will see some guts and stuff, but it's part of it. And if you don't get it perfectly while you're skinning it, then you can always just clean it up after you get it out. Now this part's hard right here because of this tail, there's a bone, it goes down to right here, and it is not the easiest to work with. Oh, jeez. It's 
That's why you need a strong knife. There we go. So, you're gonna get as much skin if you can, as you can. You know, if you leave some, it's fine. You can always come back and clean that up. Like I said earlier, there will be guts. So, if you've got a weak stomach, then probably shouldn't be doing this. But, well, I need to sharpen my knife. So, I've got this back in for the most part. So now I'm going to work on the front end. And I'm, especially when I'm up here, I'm going to be careful that in no way you'll be able to bite me. I really should have sharpened this knife. Oh well. Also, you're gonna want a sharp knife <laughs> to do this with. So I've got this whole side up to the neck. Now, still keeping the head up there because I don't want it to attack me. It probably wouldn't be very happy, but it's dead. So. And this, this skin is pretty thick. You know, it's not, like, that's just skin. That's, so. You know, you could just cut off the head if you want and then just bury that or do whatever. But um, like I said, I didn't sharpen my knife any and I don't want to dull in it any more than what I have to. So, just gonna go. Ah, jeez, okay. Oh, why didn't I just start out by doing this? Alrighty, so we have all of our skin peeled off of the shell. But after we get the skin off, all this stuff is also attached to the back of it. Like I said, he's extremely dead. I'm just hitting nerves. And like I said, if you're not going for meat, you can be as sloppy as you want with it. Just as long as you get your... and don't harm that. So I've got most of it off of the here. On oh, this darn tailbone. Yeah. Come on now. Very well. 
Let's go over and eat. Alrighty. So you're basically, like I said before, just trying to get all these guts and fat and all this stuff off of your shell. So it's just like if you're skinning any other animal, but except you're gotten a turtle. Well, you can start to see the shell back in there. Like I said before, if you're weak stomached, this is not for you. Yeah, mainly getting everywhere. Got everywhere. Except for the neck and the tail. That's because they've got some nasty bones that are fem this is a female because you can tell those are her those are either her eggs or her ovaries one of the two I don't know how well you guys can see but these orange little balls those are eggs so she was a female good that we got her out of here so she couldn't lay no more and these are not like fish where they will lay them in the water, lay their eggs in the water and then just have the male come by and fertilize them. They will actually lay their eggs like a chicken will on land. Hey, chill out. I'm just about to try to claw me. Oh, man, this tail bone has done nothing but bad for me. There we go. Thank you. This is definitely not the video if you're wanting to keep the meat because I'm just tearing through all this meat. But I will have other videos showing you how if you want the meat to get the meat. Like I said before, you're just going to skin all this stuff off of the shell, whether it be the meat, the, just whatever.
There we go. Got some of it. Oh, jeez, this neck bone is worse than the tailbone. Sure does give you a workout in the hot sun. I'll tell you that. Now the tail. And after you get it to like right here, whatever, you're just going to get the rest of that out as if you were skinning. Well, there's my shell. As you can tell, it is not by any means. Oh, yummy. I got egg juice all over me. Anyways. It's not cleaned up how I would like it. So, you can try and cut that out now. Try and cut most of it out as you can. What you can't get, you are going to just let the shell dry up. So that's, this stuff will either fall or you can just pull it right out. So once it dries up, it's, it's a lot easier to get. But what you can do is just around the edges right up here and anything that you missed you can just try and get that however with your turtle remains that you want nothing to do with right here you're just going to you can either throw it in the woods and let something eat it throw it in the pond or throw it to your dogs and I don't know if I should throw it to the dogs or not if it's still going to try and bite them. So, I think I'll just throw it in the pond. Let the turtles and the catfish pick off the guts and what they want. So, oh, oh, slipped down my hand. All right, I'm back. So, and you can see there's the shell out here and then there's a little lighter circle in here. That's actually not the shell, that's like, I think that's muscle or something because I just felt it, yeah, still thumping. Okay, so, like I said, everything will dry up. It'll be easier to get it once it dries up. You can either set it out in the sun, although it'll be smelly, or you can just have it dry up somewhere else. Well, no matter what, it's gonna be smelly because you're gonna still have blood in here and guts, maybe, some meat. So it's gonna be smelly. So just be, just know about that. So 
So I'm just trying to get just a little bit more and then I'm going to go leave it out somewhere so that I can dry in the sun away from our house so it doesn't smell around our house. I'm just gonna try and get this little last bit right here. Oh, shut up, red dog. Well, I'll let this dry and we'll come back and we'll wash it out and get the rest of it out. So I'm just gonna leave this here and I'm gonna show you guys we're going to set this. I'm just gonna sit on this stump right here. No way, nothing will bother it, hopefully. And, yeah, so, and that way, when the sun comes up, it'll dry this guy up. So, I'll give it at least a few hours and I'll probably check on it every once in a while. So, yeah. So, last time you saw me, guys, the last time you guys saw me, uh, it's, it's early. Um, I was over there cleaning the turtle, and then I set it up here. I left it here for around 24 hours. It's the next morning, and honestly, I'm just letting the bugs, and I think those are yellow jackets. I'm not sure. I don't want to make them mad. There's some sort of stinging insect, and then flies. I just let them all eat the meat out, the rest of the meat out of it. And they've done a really good job. They're just working on these little things of it. So, they've already got the ends for the most part. I'll just have to wash that out after they get everything. But yeah, so basically, instead of coming out here trying to clean it off again after it dries up, I would just let the bugs eat the rest of the meat out of it. But make sure it's somewhere away from your house again so you don't get the bad smell. And also so you don't attract ants to your house. But yeah, the bugs work really good. It's just getting getting the stuff out. Alrighty guys, so I'm back here with the turtle shell. And they've really gotten most of it. It's just that middle stuff right in there. It's little ovals or meat. Um, so I'll just let them do that and get that. But uh, yeah, I just after i cleaned it for the most part i just let the ants and the bugs do the rest so that should be cleaned either by tomorrow or tonight it won't take very much longer for them to finish it off because they've been going to town on it so yeah that's going to conclude today's video like i said this was just a video to show you guys how to get the shell not the meat i'll have other videos coming soon of how to get the meat from a turtle. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Remember as always, have a great day and God bless.